I'm not going to shoot at a paper target. This is to kill one of their guys before they get the chance to kill one of mine. For years, years, I consider myself to be a murderer. It's either kill or be killed. It's that basic. You never get over it, and you just kind of live with it inside. Get up every day and get on IraqiCasualties.com and see if my son was killed while I was sleeping. As soon as I saw that, that bright white flash, I thought that I was dead. I didn't let it bother me because I, I just shut down. When you come back home, and society says, we wanted you to go do this, and you have to be like that, but now you're back. You got to be this way now. Home is not home anymore. I had training with what to do in combat. I was not prepared for the reception that I got when I came home. I was by myself. They don't teach you how to hurt people. They teach you how to kill people. It can definitely cause a lot of issues. And yeah, I got to come back and be a husband again. I thought I was normal. I didn't have any problem. Physically, not the same. Mentally, not the same. Then on top of that, I'm happy to see. So I'm not crazy. The way I am now is normal for what we experience. Just that feeling of accomplishing something right after I just lost my leg, it was a phenomenal feeling. If I can make one veteran breathe easier because of the knowledge that I have, then according to Emerson, I have succeeded. Yes, I think things would have been a lot different had I not gone to Iraq.